What's up guys, welcome to Rotor Ride, and today we are going to go over the proper etiquette while flying with others. And this, these are like the do's and the don'ts. These are very simple, they're not very difficult. This is, we're going to give you the direct to the real situations and how it affects everybody else around you. I should be doing something during this that's not good. And he's like, by the way, let's go ahead and start right now. You're doing something yeah. bad right now. Oh, I'm interrupting? Yep. <laughs> Don't interrupt. FPV <laughs> etiquette. <laughs> All right guys, welcome to the Elpis Out. Let's get it. All right, so let's start with rule number one. Rule number one is gonna be, and this is something that you could do got you guys as a group behind the scenes, or make sure that everybody's on different channels before you even get to the fly spot. Jeff, you know what channel he's on? I have no idea, he didn't tell us. So my man just gets here and just starts flying. I'm always on channel one. <laughs> Channel. What channel are you talking channel? about? Channel would be what channel you are receiving and transmitting. So if that would be channel one, two, three, four, five, depending on what video uh, system you're using. In case you guys are new to drones and you're not familiar with everything that goes into drones, our drones transmit video through a frequency. And we have a certain number of frequencies that we can use in the allotted space that we're allowed to fly within. And, and that gives you your video to your goggles. Um, and if you want to fly with buddies, you only have maybe like eight channels that you can use pretty much. So you want to pick one of those eight channels and make sure your buddies know which channel you're on. Try to spread yourself out a little bit so that we can take advantage of all those channels. You don't want to be on channel three and then me be on channel three and you plug in and then I lose my drone in the air. So, exactly. Yeah. We have examples of that. I would never do that. But we all know tomorrow it's only us three flying. He could take one, I could take three, he could take five, set all our quads up the night before on those channels. That way we can plug in and do different things together and fly together at the same time without having an issue. And it's easier to do it in the AC than it is doing it right now in the heat. If you're busting out an old quad out of the closet you haven't flown in seven years and you're coming out with the guys, you might still be on analog. So then it's a bit of a curveball there. So you really need to understand, are you on an analog system or are you in a digital system? Are you on the Cadex Walksnail system or in DJI system? Because they're not all laid out exactly the yeah, same. Yeah, like channel three on DJI might be channel one on Walksnail, for example, right? You gotta know the frequencies and know which one's on which. And that's what makes it easier. If you're at home on Discord and you already have a big group of I don't know, 10 people that you fly with, it's easy for you guys to set that up before you even get out. So that way you know you're gonna have a, a very good experience flying. We'll have a link in the description to a frequency chart that'll help you guys out. Okay, check it right here. Yeah, we'll put it right on the screen. Oh, right over here. Sean's yeah. face. Yeah. Yeah. Print that out. Right there. Bring it in. <laughs> Print that out, bring it out to the field with you. That way everybody can coordinate and feel comfortable flying with each other. So that's probably rule number one. All right, so for number two, it is gonna be setting up your area when you first get to a fly spot. That means making sure that everybody's in the general area so you don't have a group over here, a group over there, and then set your things up. You see, if you look over here, Sean has his little area here. Me and Jeff have our little, well, I kind of took over Jeff's area, so I'm not that good at it. But yeah, Jeff has his stuff on the ground. Yeah. But just everybody is set up in their general area. Everybody. Right. And you want to generally try to make it to where it's in a good area, to where you can fly all the areas you want to fly, and you're not like too much in the flight area where you're going to want to fly, so you don't have to fly through camp. Yeah, hey, where are you at, Sean? Right here. Oh, oh, all this real estate out here, and you got to fly five foot from us? Is that necessary? Someone's going to get hurt out here. Yeah. It's really important that everybody flies together because if you're around each other, you can continue to manage frequencies like we talked about earlier. If one guy's way over there and one guy's over here, then you're not going to know what frequency he's on. Or that he's, he's even plugging there. in or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Communicating. Yeah. I've been guilty of that one before because sometimes I'll go crash and then I go to get it and I'm like, oh, it's still flyable. So I'll just, yeah, just stand there and plug yeah, in and fly. Yeah, sit there and fly. But now I'm kind of breaking two rules. I'm breaking the rule of not flying like with the group and I'm out in the flying area. <laughs> Message. <laughs> rule number three is be cautious not to plug in on other pilots. So, well, well, why the hell would you? You just gonna plug in? Or you not gonna say nothing? I thought you landed. I thought you were landed down. where? I, this I, guy, man. I'll unplug. Yeah, go walk through this muck. Mm. That's not proper etiquette. You see that? Like, if somebody's flying, obviously I got my goggles on, controller in hand, and he just plugs in right beside me. That's not proper etiquette. This is, see, and this is at a pro level, guys. <laughs> you see the problems we deal with? Proper etiquette would have been to, hey, I'm about to plug in and then me just get out of the hairy spot that I was actually in before he plugged Oh my God. Oh, it's nasty.
If your drone is right next to another pilot's set of goggles and you plug in, you could potentially blast them and all they're going to see is your video and not their own. And if they're far away, they're never going to be able to recover their drone. They might lose it. It might be in a pile of chairs or something Anything, in there. Anything, or muck. <laughs> or muck, uh, because they lost their video. So you don't want to do that to your buddy. Um, you don't, you don't want to make your buddy lose video. Unless hey. he's not your buddy. You typically <laughs> want to start with a fresh battery like you don't want to offset and fly in the middle like just be like plugging in just you might as well wait till they land but then sometimes people will land and then take back off again <laughs> and it's like well i you landed so you i thought you were done <laughs> oh what are so, we talking about me no oh, okay. i'm just so saying that might happen oh, okay. and this hypothetically something like that could happen i've never heard anybody say like <laughs> plug it in never heard yeah you know no, yeah, yeah as vocal as i should be so vocal. Like, his is doo 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 <laughs> you heard that right <laughs> doo 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 that quad beat. yeah so it's when so you're gonna plug in don't be like me don't be shy don't be quiet just make it loud and proud hey guys i am plugging yeah, in okay that's right. Everybody notice me plugging in? And it Do takes the responsibility off of you as well, too. Because if you say I'm plugging in and everybody's cool with that, and then that person's drone just does some crazy stuff, you have already acknowledged them to let them know this is what I'm doing. Hey, I told you. Yeah. I told you I was plugging in. Yeah. And if you are plugging in, make sure you have your hand on the battery lead ready to unplug right. just in case somebody screams out, video, video. And they can't hear That's a good point. There might be an action point that you might need to make after that announcement. That's, it's not just, I'm plugging in and then deal with it. <laughs> you might have to. Sorry, buddy. Yeah. On to the next one. All right, rule number four is don't fly over people. So whether that's uh, back here at home base, you should really have like a flight line established where drones flying happen on that side and like humans are on this side and you don't kind of cross the streams. Or if you see someone out there getting their quad, kind of, you don't need to be like... Uh, impressing him with how much throttle you can apply as you go past him like yeah, don't buzz the tower <laughs> you either. don't need to you do that yeah. oh shit get away from me get away from me This is really gonna he, looks, he, he looks terrified. Sometimes it seems really cool to kind of fly over your buddies and do a little flip like in the back the beginning days of the It looks FPV. cool, but it's they might cool, not be happy. Fun, but not everybody is excited about having a drone yeah. with choppy things flying over their heads. Me. That's yeah. a pack up move. Like if I'm with a group of people and they're just like <laughs> going crazy right by us, that is a like, I need new friends. Put everything back, put my, and then I'll just step back and stand behind the person that is flying. <laughs> but yeah, and then same thing when you come back in and land is you shouldn't land just right here where everybody's like congregated. Somebody plugging in? So you're gonna land it right there? Is that bad? What? Am I not supposed to do that? Give it like a 20 foot, you know, land out there by the curb, then just walk out there and get it. Yeah, that's yeah. the safest way. So Sean, why don't you go ahead and give us rule number five. Speaking of don't fly over people, rule number five would be don't be the guy that walks out into the ultimate flying spot to make it to where people have to fly over you, or at least announce that you're going out there. But let's say Jeff's in the middle of flying his pack, right? I don't want to just run out there and ruin his line. He might be in the middle of a line and like I'm in the ultimate spot that he wants to get as his next trick and I took his spot. Where's my damn drone? Whoa, sh did, did, some, did Jeff say he was walking out there? No, he didn't say that to me. Why is he just walking around out there? He almost killed me, oh my God. Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah. And if you are going out there, just simply say, hey, running out to get my quad from this particular location yeah. so that you know just everybody's safe. You don't want to get hit by a quad. That's right. And I your buddy want doesn't want to hit you with no, a quad. I definitely don't want to get hit by a quad. All right, so rule number six, guys, is if one of your buddies crashes in a crazy spot, Go help them get it, especially if like, you see where we're at right now. I just want to whisper because I don't want anybody to hear me. <laughs> but this is a sketchy spot, it's and there's like people oh, everywhere. So yeah. if, if I crash, Jeff, the person that plugged in on me, should have really walked with me, but he was too busy flying. Yeah, I was having a good time. So I had Bubby walk out with me, but always have a buddy to walk into some of these deep dungeons. Oh. So you see, Jeff, can we put like an X over Jeff every time he makes like oh, a... X over Jeff, yes. Jeff's face right here. Yeah. It's a score. Who's the worst? Jeff, ding, ding, two infractions already two today. Infractions. <laughs> 
I'm glad we have Jeff here, though. He's like the what not to do. Yeah. <laughs> that's you know what's funny? I thought Sean was going to be the what not to do. No, it's not. <laughs> so that's rule number six. Okay? Rule number seven, Jeff, take it away. Woo! <laughs> have yeah, a beeper, noises. but know how to turn it off because if, when if it's something's just beep, beep, beeping away, that can like really drive people crazy. Like, and uh, speaking of loud noises, just in general, uh, some people are sensitive to noise, so try not to be too distracting. Like all kinds of. Jeff, yeah. what? What are you doing? Where you at? I'm trying to rip, son. Hmm? Where at? I'm in the thing by the by the. You know. Are you power looping things? What? Well, what's going on? I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> ah! What are you doing? I can't think. Where are you trying going? to dive a hole. Are you doing a hole? Trying. You all right? I was. Just, just checking, buddy. Just checking. <laughs> I was doing fine before just all this started. Def, don't talk to people while you're flying. Unless that person is comfortable with that, you guys know your crew and who you can talk to and who you don't. But if that person doesn't like a lot of talking, then just don't do it. Don't yeah, say, Some hey, people do that, don't do mind that. it when you're talking to them. Like for me, I actually find it helpful. It actually fly better when people are talking to me. Like, especially if they're watching me, I feel like I'm flying better. But not everybody can do that. Yeah, Corey wears. I wear you wear headphones, yeah, you, right? We talk to Corey. He doesn't hear. Like, Corey, <laughs> we there's a guy over there. <laughs> I don't want to hear anything. So that's be stuff. your own maker. You don't like people talking. <laughs> get your headphones. <laughs> Call it lovely. Yep, you don't have to hear anybody. <laughs> By the way, guys, that was rule number seven. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But funny. number eight is probably one of the most important ones to me personally. Honor thy quad friend. Can I use your battery charger? Yeah, buddy, right here. Check oh. it out. Not me. Yeah. Also, you got some uh, props. Man, I can make it rain with props. Here you go. Right. Here's some props. I got some props for you. Yep. Here you go. Yep. Some props. Yep. Some props. Can I use your two you millimeter some props? as well? What's up with these smarties? I always got candy. Hey, you need two millimeter? Oh, that's a 1.5. Sorry, man. I'm, I'll take that too. <laughs> what else you got over here? Mini, mini break. Be the guy that helps a friend out, but don't be the guy that's always asking for stuff. Come prepared. That's a little. That's a little teaser. Don't come prepared. Don't. So be Sean, but don't be Corey. Yeah. If this guy, and if you can, honestly, we understand if you don't have the equipment to hand out and to give out, and even if you have an extra set of props or need somebody needs a motor to keep them in the air for the day, give it out to them. Because you never know when you're going to be on the other end and need something. We've all started this hobby. Nobody knew what we were doing. It took somebody to help you to do this and help you to do that. Yeah, I don't feel like that stop. I feel like we have a really good community of people. It seems like everybody's always helping everybody yes, else out. Exactly. You know, you throw up the spot. Somebody doesn't have a laptop. Hey, anybody got Betaflight? I need to change some pids. And 100%. people are always willing to help. Sean's each other always out. that guy. He's oh. the guy that's got the laptop and the I'm, thing. I'm, I'm, I'm the voice guy. Tire plug, <laughs> laptop, <laughs> fridge, freezer, <laughs> hot plate, <laughs> everything. Yeah, be a Sean. Be the guy that can help each other out. Yeah, no, Tip number nine. Rule number nine is always respect the authorities. If security comes and tells you it's time to go, if the police come and tell you it's time to go, always be kind and be ready to go. We definitely don't want the law enforcement thinking that drone pilots are bad people. We want to make sure that they respect us and we respect them so that we have a good relationship with them. And it know? works out that way. There's been a lot of security guards that I've been like nice to and they're like, hey, listen, man, I don't work on Thursdays and Friday. <laughs> Come back that day. Or, you know, you can slip them a little couple bucks if you can too. That usually helps we out. Don't bribe yeah, we don't police. bribe the police. Not, not yeah, the police, don't bribe security. The police. <laughs> security, <laughs> security, not police, but everybody else bribe them. 50 bucks get you in the police bottle. <laughs> <laughs> these, these are Baltimore specific rules. <laughs> Yeah, bro, bring in Baltimore, some $50 might get you in the spot. <laughs> I'm not saying that's going to work in your town. Call me first. Generally, the police are nice and they understand and they know what drones are. Yeah. And some some of them fly. Like We were at a spot the other day and they're, uh, a police officer is like, oh, if, if I got time, I'm going to grab my quad and come back. That's right. So yeah. you, they might be cool with it. So you might as well not start off the interaction uh, on the wrong foot. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So that is rule number nine. Last but not least. Last but not least, last but not least, rule number ten is uh, clean up your crap when you leave the spot. Leave it, you know, the same way or better than when you got there. That's right, Corey. What's up with these boxes over yeah, there, man? Bubby kicked those out the way, actually. So that was <laughs> I will really take hot. responsibility for that. <laughs> I'm usually very good. Clean it up for me. But I'm like a big littering guy anyway. Like I don't like things being thrown over the ground. Yeah, don't blow up yeah. the spot. Don't uh, knock windows out. Don't break things. Don't make a mess. Don't you want to be invisible. Behind. Clean up yeah. your props. Yep. Don't leave your props all over the place. That's evidence. All right, you're gonna know. Yep. Yep. Make it look like you've never been there before, and in some cases, make it even nicer. Some parks I go to and there's stuff all over the ground. I'll I clean, clean up a couple up. things around the ground. Because then you're helping, yeah. contributing. Nobody can be mad if you're helping out. That's right. If you leave it like 
then they're never going <laughs> to let you come back again. Yeah, don't be a litter bug. It's gross. <laughs> That's rule number 10. So guys, all of these rules, they're going to be in the link here below somewhere in the comments down there somewhere. Follow those. You will keep many of Quad friends. People will be happy to come and call you because there are guys out there that don't get the phone call That's right. because they're not good quad people. So you like won't get the call. Somebody will go fly at a hot epic spot and they're like, yeah, don't call this guy. And Discord will like have you oh, no, not Steve's in the group. Coming. Oh, yeah. God, it's oh, Steve. 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 Don't be Steve. Don't be Steve. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Rotor Riot. Like, subscribe, all of the things. Make sure you check out rotorite.com. <laughs> Pick up Tank S. Yeah, and if we missed different rules that you didn't hear or give us little experiences that you have, have went through, put those in the comments. Yeah, give us your uh, story of the person who broke all the uh, etiquette rules. Who's the Steve of know. your group? Who's the Steve of your group? <laughs> <laughs> Show us the Steve of your group. Yep. Jeff's ours. I'm just putting that <laughs> out there. <laughs> they still let me come out, though. I don't know. I mean, all right, thanks for I watching, guys. We'll see you next time on Rotor Riot. See ya. Woo!